Ever wondered what makes kunafa so delicious? Ah, kunafa, a tantalizing dessert that hails from the vibrant Middle East. This sweet indulgence is no ordinary treat. Imagine thin, noodle-like pastry soaked to perfection in a sugar-based syrup. Now add a filling of either nuts or sweet cheese, and you'll begin to understand why kunafa is loved far and wide. This unique dessert is a feast for the senses with its surprising texture and irresistible flavor. The delicate crunch of the pastry, the sweet sticky syrup, and the rich filling all combine to create a culinary experience like no other. It's no wonder that kunafa has found its way into the hearts and stomachs of food lovers across the globe. From bustling street markets in Cairo to high-end patisseries in Paris, kunafa is a dessert that knows no boundaries. So what's the secret behind this delectable dessert? Let's dive into its history. To understand the magic of kunafa, we must travel back in time to its roots. Our story begins amidst the grandeur of the Ottoman Empire, where the dessert first made its tantalizing appearance. It's a testament to the culinary prowess of the region that kunafa quickly gained popularity, spreading like sweet, sticky wildfire throughout the Middle East and North Africa. Yet, as kunafa journeyed through different lands, it embraced the local cultures, resulting in a delightful array of variations. From the cheese-filled kunafa of Palestine to the cream-infused version in Egypt and the nutty twist of Syria, each region has added its own unique flair to this delectable dessert. This isn't just a dessert, it's a piece of history, a testament to the diverse culinary traditions of the Middle East and North Africa. But we're not just here for a history lesson. While its history is fascinating, it's the making of kunafa that truly captivates our taste buds. Crafting a perfect kunafa is nothing short of an art. It starts with a thin, noodle-like pastry, so delicate it's a wonder to behold. The pastry is layered in a circular pan, and here's where the magic happens. The filling. Some prefer a nutty crunch, others a sweet, creamy cheese, but either way, it's a delightful surprise waiting in every bite. Once the filling is nestled within the pastry, another layer of the pastry tops it off, creating a sandwich of sorts. Next, this assembly is baked to a golden perfection, the heat transforming the ingredients into a cohesive, crispy masterpiece. But the process doesn't stop there. A sugar-based syrup, often infused with a hint of lemon or rose water, is poured over the hot pastry. The kunafa soaks up this syrup like a sponge, the sweetness seeping into every nook and cranny. The result? An irresistible dessert that is a feast for the senses. Now, let's unearth some interesting facts about this beloved dessert. Kunafa isn't just a sweet treat, it's steeped in cultural significance. Often consumed during the holy month of Ramadan, it serves as a hearty meal to break the fast. But that's not all. In Arab culture, offering kunafa is seen as a symbol of generosity and hospitality. It's not just about sharing a dessert, but sharing a piece of tradition and heart. Beyond its cultural importance, the ingredients used in kunafa also have several health benefits. The thin, noodle-like pastry is typically made from wheat, a great source of fiber. The nuts often used as filling are packed with healthy fats and proteins. And let's not forget about the sweet cheese, a good source of calcium. So the next time you savor a piece of kunafa, remember the rich history and culture that it carries with it.